This is likely to be one of the most helpful videos I've ever created. I was scrolling my YouTube comments this morning and I came across a comment that I see all too often. I'm still new to affiliate marketing. I've watched a lot of your videos, but I'm still confused where to start or what niche to choose from. This right here is where everybody gets held up, is on choosing a niche. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a little ChatGPT for this today because I wanna show you. I use ChatGPT in my everyday life all day long, all day long. I talk to it on my phone. I'm just using it with everything. So I thought, let's bring it in for this exercise as well. So if you go to ChatGPT and you say something like, I want to be an affiliate marketer. I have no idea what niche to choose. Ask me questions to help me identify the platforms, niches, and products for me. So this prompt is not, this is called a prompt when you're typing into ChatGPT. It's just conversational. You can ask it whatever you want. But if I had just come in here and say, I wanna be an affiliate marketer, I have no idea which niche to choose, it would write a blog. I don't want it to write a blog. I want it to interview me, ask me questions, help me determine where's the best place for me to be. So let's see what it does. Help you get started in affiliate marketing. Let's dig into some questions that can clarify the best path for you. Okay, I'm already overwhelmed, so I'm gonna tell it, ask me these questions one by one. I don't want it, I don't have to think about too much. All right, first up, what topics do you naturally enjoy talking about or learning about? Now listen, you can become an affiliate marketer and talk about any niche you want, even if you're not interested in it. But the likelihood is you'll get bored. Even if you're using AI to write the articles and AI to create the images and all this, you're likely going to one, get bored, and two, AI is not perfect. So you're not gonna be able to catch some of the mistakes and things that it would make. So I do advise two things. One, you choose a topic that you're interested in, wanna learn more about or already know a lot about, or it's part of your daily life. And two, something that is going to make money because not all niches make money in the affiliate marketing space. All right, so what topics do you naturally enjoy talking about or learning about? Um, all right, I like to talk about cats because <laughs> I have cats. Uh, relationships, maybe dating. What else would I say? Um, cooking, sugar-free snacks. Uh, what else? Uh, being a woman over 50 empty nesting, divorce, um, what else? House and home, home and garden, you know, um, house and home, home decor, fitness over 50, fashion. All right, so you're just gonna kind of run off some things that you, you, you think you could talk about all the time. Um, I'm also very big into digital marketing, obviously, making money freedom, motivation, inspiration. I'm just anything that's me, right? I'm going to put that in there. Now, if you're paying for chat GPT and you have the whatever $20 a month version it is, I think it is, you're actually training it. As we're talking right now, we are training it. See how it says memory updated? It's storing a memory of things that it thinks is important for later. So it now has already started a memory of who we are. All right, so this is out of these topics, are there any you feel particularly experienced in or that you could talk about with confidence? For example, maybe you've gone through specific experiences in fitness over 50, empty nesting. Um, I'm gonna say, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna say um, digital marketing. Yeah, let's just stick, let's, let's just, yeah, because I don't wanna confuse the memory of it. So I'm gonna go with digital marketing. By the way, you can have ChatGPT forget specific things. If you go up here to your profile and you click on settings, right down here, you go to um, memory, personalization. Then you go to manage the memory. Look at all of these things that it has saved. So after you move on from something, that isn't important anymore, you can go on here and click the little trash can to get rid of that item. And it 
it stores quite a bit and there's also ways to go in here and put them all together but if you click forget it'll forget that item and this is going to allow you to have more room in your memory just as a little fyi all right so i'm just going to say digital marketing um i love to create content and monetize it with ad revenue etc all right so what is it going to it's going to give me an answer now so you are going to put in whatever it is that your answer is okay now next question are there specific platforms you feel drawn to do you like visual pinterest do you like making videos on youtube or TikTok or content or even something else so I don't mind being on video, but that's something you need to consider. If you don't want to be on video, you need to tell ChatGPT right now you don't want to be on video. Okay, in my case, I like video and I love written content, blog articles, images, and even e-commerce ideas. By the way, I've never done this with ChatGPT, so this is a cool, like, watching it roll out in real time here. Next question. Out of your interests, like cats, fitness, digital marketing, is there a specific audience or group of people you feel excited to help or connect? Ooh, good question. For example, yeah, definitely for me, it's um, people over 40, mostly, that want to make money online. I'm being very authentic right now answering this in its reality. Out of everything I could talk about on the planet, there's nothing more I'd rather talk about than making money online and affiliate marketing, digital marketing. So next question, are you interested in any specific types of affiliate products or services to promote? This could be software, online courses. I'm gonna say all of it. I do love the opportunity to earn recurring commissions but am open to all suggestions. We're pretending I'm not already doing this, that I don't know what I'm doing, right? So I'm just kind of saying this is what I would be most interested in. Last question. Do you have a specific preference for focusing on either high ticket items with larger one-time commissions or low ticket or a mix of both? I prefer bread and butter kind of um, spend, meaning the price ranges people spend every day so not the cheapest but not the most expensive got it focusing on moderately priced everyday spend items a solid choice okay now look based on everything you've shared here are a few niches and potential content avenues Digital marketing for people over 40. Tools for blogging, video creation, and social media. Think SEO tools, video editing, okay? Content ideas, tutorials on creating content, guides, monetization strategies. Then here it says affiliate programs, courses, coaching pro pro uh, products, home-based business, affiliate products. Okay, so now you're kind of looking at this going, all right, that sounds cool, but now what, right? You literally could type in now what? Now they have focus direction. Choose your core niches and subtopics. Ooh, this is good. So look what it did. So my basically what it's saying is my business, my affiliate business, I am going to be all about digital marketing for people over 40. That is my niche. Now, subtopics might be blogging for beginners, affiliate marketing businesses, tools and software. And then it's giving me ideas on researching affiliate programs. All right, now I'm going to say something. Which platforms are best for people wanting to teach digital marketing to people over 40 and then offer affiliate products? Because which platform, you guys, is going to matter? So YouTube, this is funny. Uh, this, is, this is fascinating. YouTube is, is my number one generator for this particular niche. Other niches are better on TikTok, Instagram, but for sure what I'm doing, YouTube. So yes, YouTube. Number two is gonna be blogging. All right, that sounds great. Number three is Pinterest. I'm actually doing all of this. So it's answering very correctly in, in my opinion. Facebook groups, yes, I have a Facebook group that does the same thing, generates interest. 
Let's see what else. Email marketing. I do a lot of email marketing in this niche. Absolutely. TikTok. I've just started an account on TikTok for this. Ooh, this is so good. Putting it all together, a multi-platform strategy. So YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook group. All right. Now we've got kind of an idea. Okay. So give me a, a list of affiliate products then that might make sense for me to promote. All right, here we go. Email marketing platforms, website builders, SEO analytics, online platforms, e-commerce solutions. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, now how do I become an affiliate for these? I'm pretending you have no idea, right? So look what it's saying. Most major products have an affiliate program link at the bottom of their website. They're 100% right. That They're 100% right. Then you're going to go in. You're going to sign up. You're going to wait for approval. You're going to get your affiliate links. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So there you go. Now, before I sign up for these programs, do I need a website or YouTube channel? Yes, having a website, a YouTube channel. Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is that I probably should go ahead and start my website and potentially start my blog for affiliate marketing. Based on this, remember, this is all saving in your memory. You're going to be able to come back. All right, let's just say, okay, I'm a little overwhelmed. Give me a 30-day plan to start with. No problem. Week one, laying the foundation. Define your niche. We just did that. Write down three to five key topics you want to focus on. Affiliate marketing for beginners, starting a blog, and essential tools. Those are going to be like my three main buckets I'm going to work within until I cover all of that and then expand. Set up your website or YouTube channel. We need a website. We need to go register the domain. We need to go build the YouTube channel, okay? Now, when, wherever you get stuck, you're going to come back to ChatGPT. Now, I have coaching on all this. I have courses on all this. You're welcome to join Blueprint Coaching. Coach, you're welcome to take my eBooks, my courses. But I wanted to give you the ability to sit down with ChatGPT and have a conversation to help you come up with that niche because look how well it did, right? Now, from here, if you got stuck somewhere, um, where it says register, set up your website, you could say, give me step-by-step -step instructions for setting up my website. Here you go. Choose your domain name. Then it's going to tell you where to go. Then sign up for web hosting. It's going to tell you how to do it. Is this not absolutely incredible? And wherever you get stuck, ask for more details. Ask for more details. It will keep doing it. Okay, so now let's uh, do the YouTube channel setup. Sign in, Google account, add your picture, add your description, create your channel. Add a channel profile picture. It doesn't get any better than this, you guys. So easy. By the way, my ChatGPT is trained to add my affiliate links. That's why you're seeing this. You won't see that on your on your end of it. That's just something I trained it to do for my blogs and whatnot. Okay, now watch this. Okay, based on the three subtopics we are starting with, pre um give me the 30 day action plan just for YouTube. Some of you may only do a blog. You may only do a YouTube. You may have the time and energy to set up both a blog and YouTube at the same time, but assuming one or the other, look what it does. So day one, you're going to set up your channel. Day two to three, you're going to outline five to six ideas with two to three videos for each subtopic. Day four to five, you're gonna film and edit your first video. Day six, you're gonna upload and optimize your first video. Day seven, you're gonna share your video on social media. Day eight and nine, you're working on your second video. So basically what it's doing is it's giving you one video per week for the 30 day plan, and that includes the topics. Now watch this. Let's go back to your day right here, outline five to six video ideas, okay? 
um, give me a list of the video ideas I should cover. Give me 10 to choose from, or you can just have it give you the five. Now remember, your niche, you will be talking about whatever you're interested in. It's not going to be affiliate marketing, right? It's going to be whatever you're interested in. So you're going to go off of that. So basically what it's doing here gave me three for affiliate marketing business basics. It gave me three for starting a blog with income, how to make your first hundred dollars with a blog. That's genius. Then it gives you your digital marketing ones. All right. So let's pretend we're starting on this first one. What is affiliate marketing? And, and you know the topic, but you really do, still don't know what video to make. Okay, give me the how-to on this topic for the video. Creating a, what is affiliate marketing? Look at this, opening hook, zero to 30 seconds. <laughs> it tells you what to say. Then it goes into the second one, 30 seconds to a minute 30 with the script. 130 to 300 with a script. So if you're somebody that wants to use scripts or even wants to use scripts as kind of like the bullet point, all right, pretend we want to do that. Instead of a script, just give me the bullet point talking points. So now it's basically saying these are really what you should be covering in your video. You're going to have a hook. You're going to talk about why it's important. You're gonna explain what affiliate marketing is. You're gonna simplify it. You're gonna say why it's great for people over 40. Then you're gonna tell them, pick a niche, find affiliate programs, create content, share your affiliate links. G guys, there's absolutely zero guesswork in this, right? So I, it's so funny, I, I think I just hit my limit here, but I can switch this back to, oh, maybe not. All right, anyway, you've got the idea. From here, you actually could say, now write the blog and it'll write the blog article for you. You also could say, um, how do I add this to my email marketing funnel? If you're doing email marketing at the same time, you could also say, now what affiliate link should I go put in here? And it'll tell you how to go get affiliate links. So for example, let's just say you're doing cooking and it says put in a pan from Amazon. Then you might say, but I don't have an affiliate. How do I get affiliates with Amazon? It'll give you instructions on how to go become an Amazon influencer or how to go get Amazon links. So you don't have to guess, but this is the this is such a good way to come up with your niche. I'm Lori Ballin. Love to have you in my coaching program. Link below. Talk to you soon.